Hey Loopers, this is Matt McCoy. I'm the founder of loopcommunity.com and I'm also an Ableton Live certified trainer. And I'm passionate about teaching worship leaders how to use multi-tracks to enhance their worship experience. So what I'm gonna show you today are the six features that I think worship leaders are gonna love about Ableton Live 10. Ableton Live 10 came out last week. I've got it on my computer. I'm gonna show you those features now. So the first feature that I think is really cool for worship leaders is that tracks adopt their file name. So I'm in Arrangement View, and watch what happens when I drag these tracks into Arrangement View. Every single track adopts the name of the file. Previously, you would have had to rename these tracks to match the file name or whatever you wanted it to be, but it automatically names it for you, which I think is really cool and saves you a lot of time. The second feature that I think is really awesome is groups inside of groups. You could do this in Arrangement View or Session View. I'm gonna show you in Session View. Groups inside of groups is really cool because what you can do is, let's just say, I'm gonna get all my guitars together, all right? So I'm gonna drag the electric over here, electric one, electric two, and electric three. And let's just say, I wanna group all my guitars together. So I'm gonna right click and rename, or sorry, right click and go to group tracks and rename this, I'm gonna call this guitars. Well now inside of that group, what you can do in Live 10 is create another group. So I'm gonna right click on electric and choose group tracks. And I'm gonna rename this group electrics. Now this can be really cool for routing or for mixing groups of tracks. It just makes it really nice for customizing um, and organizing all of your tracks because you can group them inside of other groups. The third feature that I think is really great are the different click sounds. So let me go ahead and um, we're gonna set the tempo to be 98. Let's go ahead and hit play. Intro, two, three, All right. four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just solo the bass track. In Ableton Live 10, now you can choose different click sounds. There's a click or there's wood. You can also change the rhythm of that click. So if you wanna add the eighth note. That's a great feature, and I think that's gonna be very helpful for a lot of worship leaders as well. The fourth feature that I think is awesome is in Live Preferences, you can actually custom name your outputs. So if you've got an interface plugged in and you've got like eight outputs, well, you could name all of those outputs. I'm gonna to go to Audio, I'm gonna to go to Output Config, and if you had your interface plugged in, you'd have all of these different options. I just have my headphone jack right now, so I'm gonna name these uh, Headphone Left, and headphone right. Or if I know what those are gonna be, I could just say, I know that I'm gonna send all my click and cues out left. So I'm gonna rename the left side to click and cues. I'm gonna rename the right side to tracks. This is pretty awesome because with an interface, then you could rename all your outputs like drums, bass, guitars. And now in the uh, in and out options, you'll see if I go to, um, output here, external output, I can choose click and cues or tracks. Custom naming is awesome in Live 10. The fifth feature that I think worship leaders are gonna love is the ability to export as an MP3 file. Now you think that maybe this would have been something available many years ago, <laughs> but you can now export as an MP3, which is awesome because many of you have been exporting it as a WAV file and then having to bring it into some like converter, iTunes or something else and convert it to an MP3. Well, now what you could do is, you know, you could create your, uh, you know, a rehearsal mix or a track for your band to practice along with, and then go to File, Export Audio, and down here there's an option for MP3, and you can turn that on. And now it's going to automatically export an MP3 for you that you could then send to your band for rehearsals. And the last feature that I think is really awesome for worship leaders is called Capture. And this also is a feature that I think is really cool for all the guys who are uploading tracks to Loop Community. What Capture does is it lets you, when you're playing an instrument, so I've got a little MIDI keyboard here with, um, with a synth sound plugged in. All right, let me go and turn solo off. Now, if I'm recording my own track and I'm playing a part, but I forgot to turn record on, well, Ableton Live is always listening. So I could always um, pull in that part. So for example, 
Let me go and just go ahead and hit play. Intro. And actually, I'm gonna need to, I need to get rid of all my tracks first. All right. And let me go ahead and hit play. So I've got a click. Now what I could do, I'm gonna change that. Uh, I'm gonna change it to like this. And I could play a part like. Um, and then I can press the capture button. And it remembered what I was recording. I can go in, in here now and quantize it. So it's always listening. So this is a, that's a great feature for guys who are making their own tracks. And maybe you don't, you don't always have to have the record button on. You could just kind of be playing along with the click, hit the capture button, and it, go in, it brings in the last thing you played. So I think those six features are awesome for worship leaders and guys who are making their own tracks. Check out Ableton Live 10 today at ableton.com.